A Moral Alphabet by Hilaire Belloc. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recorded by Algie Pug. A Moral Alphabet by Hilaire Belloc. A for Archibald. A stands for Archibald who told no lies, and got this lovely volume for a prize. The upper school had combed and oiled their hair, and all the parents of the boys were there. In words that ring like thunder through the hall, draw tears from some, and loud applause from all. The pedagogue, with pardonable joy, bestows the gift upon the radiant boy. Except the noblest work produced as yet, says he, upon the english alphabet next term i shall examine you to find if you have read it thoroughly so am i and while the boys and parents cheered so loud that out of doors a large and anxious crowd had gathered and was blocking up the street the admirable child resumed his seat moral learn from this justly irritating youth to brush your hair and teeth and tell the truth B for bear. B stands for bear. When bears are seen approaching in the distance, make up your mind at once between retreat and armed resistance. A gentleman remained to fight. With what result for him? The bear, with ill-concealed delight, devoured him limb by limb. Another person turned and ran. He ran extremely hard. The bear was faster than the man, and beat him by a yard. Moral Decisive action in the hour of need denotes the hero, but does not succeed. C for cobra. C stands for cobra. When the cobra bites an Indian judge, the judge spends restless nights. Moral This creature, though disgusting and appalling, conveys no kind of moral worth recalling. D for dreadful. The dreadful dinotherium. He will have to do his best for D. The early world observed with awe his back, indented like a saw. His look was gay, his voice was strong, his tail was neither short nor long. His trunk, or elongated nose, was not so large as some suppose. His teeth, as all the world allows, were graminivorous, like a cow's. He therefore would have wished to pass long peaceful nights upon the grass, but being mad, the brute preferred to roost in branches like a bird. We have good reason to suppose he did so from his claw-like toes. A creature heavier than a whale, you see at once, could hardly fail to suffer badly when he slid and tumbled, as he always did. His fossil, therefore, comes to light all broken up, and serve him right. Moral. If you are born to walk the ground, remain there. Do not fool around. E for egg. E stands for egg. Moral. The moral of this verse is applicable to the young. Be terse. F for family. F for a family, taking a walk in Arcadia Terrace, no doubt. The parents indulge in intelligent talk, while the children they gamble about. At quarter past six they return to their tea of a kind that would hardly be tempting to me. Though my appetite passes belief, there is jam, ginger beer, buttered toast, marmalade, with a cold leg of mutton and warm lemonade and a large pigeon pie very skilfully made to consist almost wholly of beef moral a respectable family taking the air is a subject on which i could dwell it contains all the morals that ever there were and it sets an example as well g for nu g stands for nu whose weapons of defence are long sharp curling horns and common sense. To these he adds a name so short and strong that even hardy boors pronounce it wrong. 
how often on a bright autumnal day the pious people of Pretoria say, Come, let us hunt the... Then no more is heard, but sounds of strong men struggling with a word. Meanwhile, the distant noon, with grateful eyes, observes his opportunity and flies. Moral, child, if you have a rummy kind of name, Remember to be thankful for the same. H. For horseman. H. Was a horseman who rode to the meet And talked to the pads of the fox as his feet. An error which furnished subscribers with grounds For refusing to make him a master of hounds. He gave way thereupon to so fearful a rage That he sold up his stable and went on the stage and had all the success that a man could desire in creating a part of the old english squire moral in the learned professions a person should know the advantage of having two strings to his bow i for india i the poor indian justly called the poor he has to eat his dinner off the floor moral the moral these delightful lines afford is, Living cheaply is its own reward. J for James. J stands for James, Who thought it immaterial to pay his taxes, Local or imperial. In vain the mother wept, the wife implored. James only yawned, as though a trifle bored. The tax collector called again, But he was met with persiflage and repartee. When James was hauled before the learned judge, who lectured him, he loudly whispered, Fudge! The judge was startled from his usual calm. He struck the desk before him with his palm, and roared in tones to make the boldest quail, J stands for James. It also stands for jail. And therefore, on a dark and dreadful day, policemen came and took him all away. Moral the fate of James is typical and shows how little mercy people can expect who will not pay their taxes, saving those to which they conscientiously object. K for Klondike. K for the Klondike, a country of gold, where the winters are often excessively cold, where the lawn every morning is covered with rime and skating continues for years at a time. Do you think that a climate can conquer the grit of the sons of the West? Not a bit, not a bit. When the weather looks nippy, the bold pioneers put on two pairs of stockings and cover their ears, and roam through the drear Hyperborean dales with a vast apparatus of buckets and pails, or wander through wild Hyperborean glades with hoes, hammers, pickaxes, matlocks, and spades. There are some who give rise to exuberant mirth by turning up nothing but bushels of earth, while those who have little cause excellent fun by attempting to pilfer from those who have none. At times the reward they will get for their pains is to strike very tempting auriferous veins, or a shaft being sunk for some miles in the ground, not infrequently nuggets of value are found. They bring us the gold when their labours are ended, and we, after thanking them prettily, spend it. Moral. Just you work for humanity. Never you mind if humanity seems to have left you behind. L for lady. L was a lady, advancing in age, who drove in her carriage and six, with a couple of footmen, a coachman and a page, who were all of them regular bricks. If the coach ran away, or was smashed by a dray, or got into collisions and blocks, the page, with a courtesy rare for his years, would leap to the ground with inspiriting cheers, while a footman allayed her legitimate fears, and a coachman sat tight on his box. At night, as they met round an excellent meal, they would take it in turn to observe, What a lady indeed! What a presence to feel! What a woman to worship and serve! But perhaps the most poignant of all their delights was to stand in a rapturous dream when she spoke to them kindly on Saturday nights and said they deserved her esteem. 
Moral. Now observe the reward of these dutiful lives. At the end of their loyal career, they each had a lodge at the end of the drives, and she left them a hundred a year. Remember from this to be properly vexed when the newspaper editors say that the tie of society shown in the text is rapidly passing away. M for millionaire. M was a millionaire who sat at table and ate like this as long as he was able. At half past twelve, the waiters turned him out. He lived impoverished and died of gout. Moral disgusting exhibition have a care when later on you are a millionaire to rise from table feeling you could still take something more and not be really ill n for ned n stands for ned maria's younger brother who walking one way chose to gaze the other in blandford square a crowded part of town two people on a tandem knocked him down whereat a motor-car, with warning shout, ran on top and turned him inside out. The damages that he obtained from these maintained him all his life in cultured ease. Moral. The law protects you. Go your gentle way. The other man has always got to pay. O for Oxford. O stands for Oxford. Hail, salubrious seat of learning, academical retreat home of my middle age malarial spot which people call medieval though it's not the marshes in the neighbourhood can vie with cambridge but the town itself is dry and serves to make a kind of fold or pen wherein to herd a lot of learned men were i to write but half of what they know it would exhaust the space reserved for o and as my book must not be over big, I turn at once to P, which stands for peak. Moral. Be taught by this to speak with moderation of places where, with decent application, one gets a good sound middle class education. P for peak. P stands for peak, as I remarked before, a second cousin to the huge wild boar. But pigs are civilized while huge wild boars live savagely at random out of doors and in their coarse contempt for dainty foods subsist on truffles which they find in woods not so the cultivated pig who feels the need of several courses at his meal but wrongly thinks it does not matter whether he takes them one by one or all together hence pigs devour from lack of self-respect what epicures would certainly reject. Moral. Learn from the pig to take whatever fate or elder persons heap upon your plate. Q for quinine. Q for quinine, which children take with jam and little bits of cake. Moral. How idiotic. Can quinine replace cold baths and sound hygiene? R for reviewer. R the reviewer in reviewing my book at which he had barely intended to look but the very first lines upon a were enough to convince him the verses were excellent stuff so he wrote without stopping for several days in terms of extreme but well merited praise to quote but one passage no person says he will be really content without purchasing three while a parent will send for a dozen or more and strew them about on the nursery floor. The versification might call for some strictures, were it not for its singular wit, while the pictures, though handling of line is a little defective, make up amply in verve what they lack in perspective. Moral. The habit of constantly telling the truth will lend an additional luster to youth. S for snail. S stands for snail, who, though he be the least, is not an uninstructive horned beast. His eyes are on his horns, and when you shout or tickle them, the horns go in and out. Had Providence seen proper to endow the furious unicorn or sober cow with such a gift, the one would never now appear so commonplace on coats of arms. 
and what a fortune for our failing farms if circus managers with wealth untold would take the cows for half their weight in gold moral learn from the snail to take a reproof with patience and not put out your horns on all occasions T for tourist, T for the genial tourist who resides in Peckham, where he writes Italian guides. Moral, learn from his information not to cavil at slight mistakes in books on foreign travel. U is for upas tree, U for the upas tree that casts a blight on those that pull their sister's hair unto fight. But oh, the good, they wander undismayed, And, as the subtle artist has portrayed, Dispend the golden hours at play beneath its shade. A friend of mine, a botanist, believes that good Can even browse upon its leaves. I doubt it. Moral. Dear reader, if you chance to catch a sight of upas trees, Betake yourself to flight. V for Volunteer. V for the unobtrusive volunteer who fills the armies of the world with fear. Moral. Seek with the volunteer to put aside the empty pomp of military pride. W for water beetle. My little victim, let me trouble you to fix your active mind on W. The water beetle here shall teach a sermon far beyond your reach. He flabbergasts the human race by gliding on the water's face with ease, celerity, and grace. But if he ever stopped to think of how he did it, he would sink. Moral. Don't ask questions. X for nothing. No reasonable little child expects a grown-up man to make a rhyme on X. Moral. These verses teach a clever child to find excuse for doing all that he's inclined. Why? For youth. Y stands for youth. It would have stood for yak, but that I wrote about him two years back. Youth is the pleasant springtime of our days, as Dante so mellifluously says, who always speaks of youth with proper praise. You have not got to youth, but when you do, you'll find what he and I have said is true. Moral. Youth's excellence should teach the modern wit first to be young, and then to boast of it. Z for Zebu. Z for this Zebu, who, like all Zebus, is held divine by scrupulous Hindus. Von Kettner writes Zebu, Wurst, Zebu. I split the difference and use the two. Moral. Idolatry as you are well aware, is highly reprehensible. But there, we needn't bother, when we get to Z, our interest in the alphabet is dead. End of a Moral Alphabet by Hilaire Belloc Recording by Algie Pug, Perth, Western Australia